hello everyone welcome to video tutorial series on how to work with buttons in bootstrap 3.0 in this tutorial we'll learn how to create and modify buttons with bootstrap this is Nagesh here in this tutorial we'll see how we can create a buttons with bootstrap how we can apply style to a bootstrap button how we can change the size of a button how we can disable a button by using a bootstrap how we can create a disabled button using button and input element and how we can create a button groups by using a bootstrap 3.0 in case of a creating a button with bootstrap as we know buttons are the integral part of a website and application basically buttons are used for various purposes like submit or reset an HTML form performing interactive actions such as such as showing or hiding something on a web page on click of a button etc the bootstrap buttons CSS provides the quick and easy way to create and customize the buttons when we are talking about the bootstrap button style there are different classes available in bootstrap for styling the button as well as to indicate the different states button styles can be applied to any element however it is applied normally to a anchor that is a input type and button element for the best rendering uh, now see this is this is such and just an skeleton of a simple HTML where we have used some bootstrap now in this particular case we want to use something called a, we want to create a buttons in case of a bootstrap so for that I'm using something called as some bootstrap classes to work with the buttons that is given by the bootstrap now see for that I am creating one style I am creating one class using a style element in a bootstrap like this thing like this one that is style type text slash css dot bs example margin is 20 px now i want to create something like this one to work with the button in case of a bootstrap bootstrap has given us certain classes to work with button that is bootstrap has given us some class something called as a button button default as a class then one more class is there button button primary button info button success button warning button danger and button link now see btn button default this class is given to default gray button with gradient then one more class is there something called as a button btn hyphen primary which provides the extra visual weight to indicate primary action button in a set of buttons then third class is there something called as a button button hyphen info this class can be used as an alternative to the default button then button button hyphen success this class used to indicate a successful or positive action one more class is there that is button btn warning this class indicates a caution should be taken with this action then one more class is there something called as a button button hyphen danger which indicates a dangerous or potentially negative action and last button btn hyphen link this class de-emphasize a button to by making it look like a link while maintaining the button behavior now save this one and when I'm trying to open this in the browser just see what browser is showing now open it in the browser and browser is displaying the output like this one now see the output that is this one is my default button then another one is there default another class is there that is something called as a primary then this one is a third is a info fourth is a success with the gray uh, sorry with the green background then warning 
then danger and some last one is something called as a link is there getting it so this is how we can use it so we are applying this one to the input type to the button same class we can apply to the input as well so you can apply like this one if you want to apply we can apply like this one as well that is input i am applying this to the button input type is equal to button class is equal to this one default and value of that particular uh, button is default so save this one and again open to try to open it in the browser just refresh the browser and see the result so browser is showing something like this one now see for just i am making use of here as a hr sorry save this one just try to open it in the browser now see the result so now see how browser is displaying this particular buttons now see the result now same thing we can apply to the input as well initially we are applying it to the button type is equal to button and same thing we can apply to the input type equals to button as well now see what same thing we can apply to the anchor tag as well like this one now see i want to apply the same thing to the anchor that is a hr href is equal to hash class is equal to same button button default primary info success warning danger and a link save this one and try once again try to open it in the browser now see the result now what browser is displaying the same thing we can achieve either by using a button input type is equal to button or we can apply the same thing thing to the href as well getting it so this is how we can work with the how uh, this is how we can create a button with the bootstrap 3.0 now one more thing is there if i want to change the size of a button how i can able to change the size of a button now see bootstrap gives us options further to scaling a button up or down that means you can make a buttons larger or smaller through adding an extra class something called as a dot btn hyphen lg dot btn hyphen sm that is for small and dot btn hyphen xs now see how we can apply these classes to a button now see how we can apply this one to the button so this is how we can apply to the button now in the same demo i am applying this one like like these things i'm just applying one and one more class to the same thing something called as a button lg the, within a same example i am applying here some class something called as a bit button hyphen lg one to the one more class i am applying the same class that is uh, sorry to the one more button i am applying the same class that is a button hyphen lg then again i am applying one more class something called as a button hyphen sm to the another button same to the another button button uh, sorry sm hyphen button hyphen sm and one more class is there something called as a button hyphen xs is there so i am applying same to the one more button and now save this one and try to open it in the browser and see the result to the first these buttons we are apply that button hyphen lg button hyphen sm and button hyphen xs are the classes now see the result to the first we have apply some class something called as a btn hyphen lg to in between middle two buttons we have apply something called as a btn hyphen sm and to the last one we have apply one more is there something called as a btn hyphen xs getting it so this is how we can make a button more we can uh, change the size of a button in this case getting it we can make it as a larger button we can make it as a smaller button as well now one more is there that is if you want to create a block level button 
in that case also we can create a block level button by applying some one more classes there something called as a btn dot btn hyphen i want to create a block level button i can able to create a block level button like this just i need to apply one one more class there something called as a this one that is a btn hyphen block getting it save this one and just try to open it in the browser and see the result see the output now see we have taken two buttons and to these two buttons we have applied one more class is there something called as a dot btn hyphen block now see the output of it so that we, we can able to create a block level buttons in a result we will get a two block level buttons in that case so for that we have applied some class something called as a dot btn hyphen block getting it now see for clarity i am just applying one more tag over here something called as a hr and see the result so we we are we can able to create a block level button as well by using a one more class something called as a dot btn block getting it so this is how we can create a block level elements block level button right now see uh, sometimes we need to disable a button for certain reasons like a user in case is not eligible to perform this particular action or we want to ensure that user should perform all other required actions before proceeding to this particular action in that case we can disable a button so let's see how we can disable a button using a anchor element now see if i want to disable a button using an anchor element how we can able to disable it for that reason i need to use a class something called as a dot disable dot disabled is a class by using which i can able to make a disabled button now if i want to apply it to the anchor now see the result just i am i am creating one anchor href hash class is a button button hyphen primary button hyphen lg and i am saying disabled so this one is my primary link when i am trying to open it in the browser just see the result what my browser is displaying in that case now you can see the result just i am applying some class something called as a dot disabled to a link now here you can see dot, when we are applying a dot disable class to a anchor that class only changes the visual appearance of the link by making it gray and removing the over effect in that case However, the link will remain. Just a minute. Now see the result. Just I have make that particular link as a disabled. Now you can say this particular link becomes gray and it removing the over effect in this in the in case of that particular link. Getting it. Now same thing we can create a disabled button using button and input element as well. That means buttons created through button tag or input tag can be disabled by adding disabled attribute to the respective element that means if i want to create a button by using a button tag or by using a input tag and i want to disable these buttons then for that i need to instead of using a disabled as a class again i need to use a attribute something called as a disabled button now see for that one for that one i am creating one more button here i am specifying like this one button type equals to button class is equal to button button primary button hyphen lg disable disabled primary as well getting it now save this one and just try to open it in the browser and see the result try to open it in the browser and see the result just refresh the page you will get the result over there now see in just a minute now see the result that is this one is a primary button but it's disabled now it disabled in case of over you can see it's showing a circle but within that circle it's showing the cross 
getting it now see here you can it's uh, on this particular link is disabled where it is showing it's a arrow but in case of this primary button which is disabled in that in this case it's showing the oh you can show the see the over icon over here getting it so this is how we can able to work with the button in case of a bootstrap 3.0 one more thing is there something called as a bootstrap button group is there now see how we can work with the bootstrap button group in case of a bootstrap 3.0 getting it now see to create a button group just wrap a series of buttons in a div elements and apply the class something called as a dot btn group on that particular div like this one now see if i want to make a button group then i can able to make a button group like this one now just see how we can able to make this one save this one that is here i have taken one div to this particular div i have applied one car class something called as a btn group and within that div i have taken three buttons with the button tag and where i have applied some class something called as a button button hyphen primary left middle right now save this one and just try to open it in the browser now just see what browser is displaying to us getting it it will display the buttons we can just uh, it can display the three buttons just as a wrap a series of buttons to the left middle and right as well now see this is appearing horizontally if i want to make a wrap series of buttons with the vertical then just i need to use one more class is there instead of using something called as a button hyphen group i need to use one more that is a button hyphen group hyphen vertical instead of this one i want to use something like this one button hyphen group hyphen vertical just save this one and try to open it in the browser and see the result what it is displaying now see the result now it is displaying the top middle and bottom in a horizontal style sorry it's in a vertical style getting it initially it is displaying in a horizontal now it is displaying in a vertical now see if i want to creating a button as a toolbar if my requirement is that i want to create a button as a toolbar that means you can also combine the set of button groups together by creating more complex components like a button toolbar to create a button toolbar just wrap a set of button groups in div element and we want to apply the class something called as a dot button toolbar on it getting it that means if i want to create a button toolbar i need to use some some class something called as a dot button toolbar on it now see for that one we can use something like this one on this in the same example i am using something uh, like this one that means here i have used one class something called as a button toolbar within that button i have used some class something called as a button group i want to group this button then again here i have used a button tag then another is i want to group this button and one more is there just save this one and try to open it in the browser and just see the result just refresh the browser and see what the browser is displaying just see the result now when we try to open it in the browser so browser is displaying like this one so now see this is how you will get this one so that means this is how we can wrap the buttons getting it with the class something called as with the class something called as a button hyphen toolbar so this is how we can create a buttons in case of a bootstrap 3.0 thanks for watching video